The year is 2045. The world is facing economic and social challenges, and many people escape their harsh reality by entering the oasis, a virtual reality universe where they can live out their fantasies. This is the premise of sci-fi novel Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. The story follows Wade Watts, a teenager and Oasis user, as he embarks on a quest to find an Easter egg hidden within the virtual world by its deceased creator, James Halliday. The person who discovers the Easter egg will inherit Halliday's vast fortune and control of the Oasis. Wade, along with other egg hunters, faces numerous challenges and puzzles. The hunt becomes a high-stakes competition as a powerful corporation, innovative online industries, also seeks to find the Easter egg for its own gain. But we do have one more thing. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. The era of spatial computing is here. The Vision Pro was first announced at Worldwide Developers Conference last year as Apple's first official spatial computer, and it goes beyond being a mere VR headset. It stands as a remarkable technological marvel that expands the limits of what we anticipate from both virtual and augmented reality. This device promises to bridge the gap between the virtual and physical worlds, offering us a glimpse into the future. The display technology, sensor quality, and overall refinement set a new standard for headsets, marking a significant leap forward in the realms of mixed reality. Apple has managed to create a device that is far ahead of the competition. These sleek blackout goggles are like something out of a sci-fi movie. The first iteration of Apple's spatial computing device is truly a testament to their design and engineering prowess. In Vision OS, the world is your canvas. What would normally be in your field of view is reflected in the headset, almost as if you're wearing nothing at all. On top of the real world, there's a layer of user interface elements like buttons, app icons, and open windows. So your workflow floats in front of you as you view the people and objects surrounding you in real life. As we step into this new era, Apple's Vision Pro appears as a technological marvel, a doorway to unparalleled experiences. The promise of immersive virtual and augmented reality is tempting, teasing us with the possibilities of a world where our digital and physical realities seamlessly intertwine. Imagine exploring distant galaxies, attending concerts from the front row of your living room, or collaborating with colleagues as if they were in the same room. The potential is incredible and with Apple entering the space, we will see other VR headsets like the MetaQuest coming into mainstream. Could the Vision Pro be an iPhone moment that's going to change the face of technology, this time, for the VR and AR market? Only time will tell. But, as we gaze into this enticing future, we must also confront the shadows it may cast upon our society. Ready Player One mirrors our current reality. In a world where we're increasingly tethered to our screens, the novel serves as a chilling reflection of our society's growing dependency on technology. It's a reminder that just like in the Oasis, we may find ourselves isolated in a digital wonderland, disconnected from the richness of authentic human experiences, hurtling towards a future where our virtual escapes become more appealing than the complexities of the real world. While there's no denying how advanced Vision Pro as a mixed-reality headset is, there are some concerns surrounding the way Apple envisions it. Over the last decade, we've watched VR fail to become a thing. We've watched Facebook rebrand as Meta and spend billions of dollars investing in a metaverse that no sane person wants to be a part of. Now, Vision Pro could be a game-changer, seamlessly blending our interactions with computers and each other. But, it could accelerate our plunge into Apple's vision of the metaverse a closed-off space where our experiences are curated, controlled, and corporate-dominated. Imagine walking down the street, everyone donning these goggles, completely oblivious to the world around them. It's like living in our very own, Apple-controlled oasis. In Vision Pro, you are shut in a dark cell where your windows to the world are two stamp-sized screens. You're not viewing the real world, 
You're just looking at a high-resolution representation of what's in front of you, accompanied by a layer of interactive software. The entire interface is simulated based on cameras and sensors. So if the device is off, you can't actually see what's in front of you. In the age of smartphones and social media, we are more isolated than we have ever been. We're already surrounded by devices that ping us endlessly and our attention spans are constantly decreasing. The last thing we need is literal screens between our eyes. Using the Vision Pro is a solitary experience, whether it's watching movies, TV shows, or sports. If you enjoy shared viewing with friends or family, the Vision Pro isn't the go-to. Imagine this. Apple's demo dad, donned in the Vision Pro, absentmindedly kicks a ball back to his daughter who's trying to play. It's a bit unsettling. The device, despite its brilliance, has this isolating quality that has left many feeling uneasy. Apple's solution for in-person socializing when using the device is EyeSight. This feature scans your eyes and facial features when you first set up the device, creating a 3D map of your face. This artificial model is then displayed on the external screen, giving others a somewhat accurate representation of your eyes, except they aren't real. I can see your eyes and your expressions. I can see my eyes. Yeah. Even yeah. during video calls, people interact with virtual reconstruction of each other and not the real person. Besides all this, what about the unseen cost of this immersive experience? Privacy, a precious commodity in our interconnected world, might be slipping away faster than we realize. With advanced sensors and cameras constantly capturing our surroundings, who is safeguarding our privacy? Are we going to willingly surrender our personal lives for the allure of the virtual realm? Are we inadvertently inviting a new era of vulnerability, where our personal spaces are not only invaded virtually but also jeopardized by the looming threat of cyber attacks? Beyond the realms of isolation, privacy, and security, we find ourselves entangled in another web, the web of addiction. The immersive nature of mixed reality experiences may hold us captive, blurring the lines between the digital and tangible worlds. Balancing technology and nature has always been challenging. Normalizing the Vision Pro as a personal device tips the scale, making it even harder to disconnect. Smartphones and social media have become extensions of ourselves, always within arm's reach. From endless scrolling to notifications that never sleep, it's a constant challenge to break free from the digital shackles. Social media, meant to connect us, often leaves us feeling more isolated and caught in a cycle of comparison. Devices like Vision Pro amplify this struggle. The seamless integration of virtual and real blurs the boundaries even more. Imagine the already addictive nature of smartphones, now intensified in a world where the virtual is just a blink away from reality. The Vision Pro, with its immersive features, makes it all too easy to lose touch with the real world. Nature, once our sanctuary, becomes a distant memory as we plunge deeper into the digital abyss. All these issues are worsened by the steep cost. The Apple Vision Pro, priced at $3,500, screams exclusivity. It's not meant for the average consumer. Instead, it caters to well-paid creatives at best and serves as a status symbol for the mega-rich at worst. As we retreat further into our digital shells, we must question the toll it takes on our mental health and the fabric of our communities. With the siren call of endless possibilities, are we prepared to confront a society, grappling with a new breed of addiction, where the lines between reality and illusion become indistinguishable? Are we ready for this level of immersion? Will the Vision Pro become an indispensable part of our lives, or will it be another piece of tech that divides, rather than connects us? Ready Player One isn't just a cautionary tale about virtual escapism. It's a call to action against the perils of corporate control and economic inequality. The Oasis isn't just an escape. It's a battleground for control. It's a stark warning against letting technology fall into the wrong hands, where a virtual paradise can quickly turn into a dystopian nightmare. As we step into the future, let's do so with our eyes wide open acknowledging the shadows while embracing the light of responsible innovation, embracing the digital wonders but not forgetting to live and thrive in the real world. What are your thoughts on the recent advances made in mixed reality? Make sure to share them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.
Like and subscribe for more latest from the world of technology. Take care and see you in the next one.